Sockmas is back and I can't wait to share with you all of the details and reveal the sponsors and products for this year. Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty, and this is a very special video to announce the Sockmas 2021 Make Along. We had our very first Sockmas last year, which was a lot of fun. And of course, like anything, we're gonna make it bigger and better this year. So this is the second sock make along of the year. If you joined us for sock week, let me know. This one's a little bit different. It's a little more mellow, a little more low key. It's longer. There's different goals. So I'm going to share all of that here right now. Um, so I'm trying to get in like the festive spirit, but um, <laughs> all of our Christmas stuff is in our storage unit. And last year when I was like getting, you know, dressed for this video, I just went upstairs and grabbed a Santa hat. And now I have to walk a couple blocks, climb on a ladder, pull like two suitcases, a hockey bag, and all this other stuff out to find <laughs> the Christmas stuff. I don't even know what we have, honestly. And I was like, you know what? Nope, too much effort. So instead, I found this flannel in Kent's closet. Thanks, Kent. Um, and so I thought that, that would be perfect. So I'll just put a little Santa hat on my head. <laughs> in the thumbnail or something. Um, but yeah, work with what you got. Don't make it too hard. Um, okay, so let's talk about sock miss. So there are different rules than sock week. So if you've done sock week before, don't worry, this one's a little bit different. Um, but let me break it down for you. I've got my computer here. I'm gonna go through all the details here really quick and then get to the fun part, which is to share with you all of the products that our sponsors are making this year that are exclusive products just for this make along. So I'm so excited. All right, so dates for sock miss. Sock miss does not start for a while, so don't worry. We just have to get prepared early so that you can get the products if you want them and there's time for them to ship to you. But sock miss does not start until Friday, November 26th, the day after Thanksgiving, and runs through December 17th, Friday, December 17th. So it's a three week long make along in which your goal is to create socks. So these can be Christmas socks or they can be another winter holiday. They can just be winter themed. Anything that you can sell us on that it's ready for winter is perfect. Sockmas is just a really fun play on words. It does not have to be Christmas themed. This is up to you. Um, so uh, you know, you can choose whatever you want. You don't have to use sponsored products to participate. So please participate if you are knitting or crocheting socks. Um, so the goal is to create one pair of adult socks. So this does need to be a pair in order to compete for prizes um, from one of our sponsors. And you'll want to start on November, what was it, 26th, Friday, November 26th or later and finish by December 17th or earlier. So basically you're gonna complete one pair of adult socks within the three weeks. So it's still a bit of a challenge, but it's the perfect time to, you know, get in the Christmas spirit right after, um, right after Thanksgiving or the holiday spirit right after Thanksgiving and then have your socks finished before Christmas um, with plenty of time to spare, might I add. So for every pair of socks that you create, um, you can enter for prizes. And I'm gonna have all of the details on my website, nittynatty.com, and it will be linked down below so you'll have a space with all of this in writing too. That's what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> um, so knit or crochet one pair of adult socks in fingering weight, that is our rule. Um, fingering weight, not DK weight socks, fingering weight socks, um, starting on or after November 26th, finishing by December 17th. That's pretty much the only stipulation. That's it. And again, if you're not competing for prizes, you can do whatever you want and just participate alongside us. Um, to enter your socks for prizes, we are going to be using Ravelry. There is a hashtag, Sockmas2021, which I would love if you would use and spread the word and allow us to see your beautiful socks, but prizes are only going to be through the Ravelry group. Um, and I'll have that Ravelry thread link too. We'll have a chatter open now and then later when it's actually make a long time, I'll open up the uh, finished socks thread. All right, so each pair of socks equals one entry. Socks must be in fingering or sock weight yarn. They can be knit or crochet. 
they must be adult socks so just use your best judgment on that like if you have a 12 year old who has like big man feet like you can go ahead and count that or honestly a 12 year old female or it would also be like adult size so just use your judgment on that they can be any length so if they're a shorty that's totally fine do what works for you and they must be started and completed within the bounds of the make along dates. Um, we also have some entry or bonus entries. So if you are using sponsor products, if you're using any kind of um, winter themed yarn, all of those are bonuses. So you get two bonus entries if you're using one of the Sockmas exclusive products. So that means the product and the color that's just for Sockmas 2021. You get one bonus entry if you use a sponsor product that's not Sockmas themed. So when I reveal these uh, makers, if you have yarn from them already in your stash, perfect. You can use that. And you get one bonus entry for using any kind of yarn that is winter or holiday themed. So whether that's like the colorway is called like snow day or it's like an icy blue color, whatever, whatever you want to do to sell us on that like you can do that. So again, you don't have to use sponsor products to participate. Um, just make sure it's a winter theme or not. Just knit some socks <laughs> and don't, and you will have a bonus, bonus entry, but um, we just want to get people making socks here. There are going to be some prizes from our uh, sponsors. So let's get on to that because that is the really, really fun part. So these products are not available yet. They will be available this Friday, which Darn it, I did not put the date down on. Um, I believe it's the 29th. They will all become available at the same time. So make sure you strategize and go ahead and have everything loaded and ready for the product that you want the most because I do anticipate these going very, very quickly. They always do. So, you know, select that thing that you just have to get and go grab it and then go grab the next thing. Um, and yeah. Don't, don't be late on that. So I'll have the time and everything here uh, down below. Okay, so bigger and better this year. We have got four amazing sponsors. We have two yarns this year, but even cooler, I think, is that we have a theme this year. So our theme for Sockmas 2021 is Christmas at the Castle. So you may know that myself and my husband Kent, we are Disney obsessed. We love going to Disney World and Disneyland and Christmas time at Disney is extra magical. And so I thought Christmas at the Castle would be such a fun theme. So whether you're a Disney fan or not, I think you're really gonna like these fun and different colors. They're not traditional Christmas colors, which I really like, especially if you're not, um, if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, these could be colors that you still like. Or if you're like, I have a million pairs of red and green socks, I don't need anything else red and green. I think you're really going to like these. So I wanted to show you the inspiration behind these different yarns and products. So here is the inspiration. There's, if you've been to Disney before, if you've seen like the parades or whatever, there's a very distinct like daytime, nighttime difference. Whereas daytime has lots of traditional colors, um, still lots of brights because it's Disney and nighttime has these very bright, vibrant colors with the different shows. So we are going to capture that here in these yarns and products. So let's start with the very first one. We have, of course, a bag maker. Um, so this year, our bag maker and our very first sponsor is Stitching Plaza, who is George Ann. And I've got two fun products here to show you. Remember, the theme is Christmas at the castle, as in the Disney castle. And here is our first product. Oh, let me show you. Uh, Stitching Plaza. All of the sponsors and makers will be linked down below. Their products are not available until Friday, but you'll e at least have their shops ready. So how fun is this fabric? It's Christmas and it's got Mickey all over it. She's even got those lights and then look, the um, the drawstring handles, which are like super like secure and nice. Um, they kind of look like peppermint, candy cane. Uh, it's such a great bag, really nicely well made. It's got polka dot fabric, just like a nice little polka dot fabric on the inside. And it's perfect for socks. It's a little larger than the average sock pouch, which means you can actually fit all your yarn in here. I bet you could fit two pairs of socks if you needed to in here. So wonderful bag. And then she also has for us the cutest little Disney um, 
holiday themed notions pouch. So comparison to the bag, it's a little bit smaller, but I love having fabric pouches like this um, to put inside my project bags. Oh, look how cute the fabric is on the inside. So, you know, for a sock project, for example, sometimes I'll even put my minis in here so they're not getting tangled around my sock when I'm not using them and then just like zip them and put them inside the project bag. Or you can have like your needles, scissors, extra stitch markers all in here so that they're not loose around the bag. So our first uh, sponsor is Georgian from Stitching Plaza and she's gonna have the drawstring bags and the Notion pouches available for you on Friday. Okay. Our next sponsor is Lock and Lou, who is Katie. Um, I adore stitch markers and progress keepers. I have a huge collection in one of those bigger, larger bowls here behind me, and I just love them. So uh, with Kate, Katie and I uh, brainstormed some different markers, and we came up with this. Um, here's the inspiration here, and I... It's amazing that she honestly recreated this identically, and it is just amazing. Look at the detail on this Progress Keeper. So this is very obviously Mickey. <laughs> it's a Mickey wreath, and it's got the beautiful bow and the little red um, decorations, and it is absolutely perfect. I love that it's on a gold um, fastener, one of those larger lobster claws. So these are going to be available on Friday from Lock and Lou. You should go follow her because she's got some really awesome, beautifully detailed stuff. Um, but I squealed when I saw this because it even has the like details of the leaves on it. It's so detailed, so beautiful, so perfect, exactly like a Mickey uh, wreath. So you're going to want to get your hands on one of those because they're super, super cute. So our second maker is Lock and Lou. And then we have the yarn. So I have two choices for you this year for the yarn, or you can try to grab both if you want. Um, we have a variegated yarn or more of like a speckled yarn and a self-striping yarn. And from that inspiration picture before, there was a castle by day inspiration and a castle by night. And the two dyers decided to each pick one of those, which just turned out really, really cool. So I want to show you first our castle by day. This yarn is from Ruby and Rose's yarn, who is Addison, and this is called castle by day. It is a sock set with two minis, so you could use one or both. Um, it seems to be a thing now that you get multiple minis with sock sets, which is wonderful. And this is the Castle by Day color. So you can see it's got, it, the base of it is like that wonderful mint color. There we go. Now it's focusing a little better. That wonderful mint color and then all of the different colors from the like parade float are in here. So this is just going to knit up so, so pretty. Um, there is a... 0% chance that I will have anything knit up before Friday <laughs> because I'm still working on Halloween right now. I meant to say too, when I put this on, it's 75 degrees out today. <laughs> so it is not Christmas time yet, but we're going to get ready for November, uh, November 26. Yes, we're going to get ready for that. Um, but uh, eventually I will have some samples of this worked up so you can see what it's going to look like, but it's so pretty, especially with that beautiful mint base. And this uh, yarn base is 85% superwash merino and 15% nylon and it's a two-ply so it's nice and plump. So Ruby and Roses is our third sponsor and this is Castle by Day and I'm really really excited to see that knit up. I have another yarn of hers that's a very similar dye pattern and it looks gorgeous when it's knit up. All right, our last maker is a self-striping dyer, and she has done the Castle by Night. So remember all those bright, colorful projections? Like I said, this is not traditional Christmas. This is fun. This is bright. Uh, you know, we had to get some pink in there. So this is Castle by Night uh, by Mountain Mist Yarn Co., and here are the colors. Oh my gosh, they are so bright and fun. 
they are, uh, there's definitely like a red and a pink in there that I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I'm excited to see this knit up. It is exactly like those amazing colors on the castle during the, the Christmas show. And then this one also comes with three fun minis. We've got, um, oh, you know what? I had my phone open because I was going to share with you her inspiration with those. Here we go. So uh, the red and brown here is peppermint bark. So that's one of the minis that you can use. And of course, you could use these independently from the socks as well. Um, the multicolored one is Christmas cookie. And then this one is rock candy. So these are kind of like a play on the treats that might be served if there was a Christmas castle party, which I just love. So super, super fun. All right. So those are our four sponsors. So again, we've got the bag from Stitching Plaza, the bag and the Notions pouch. We have the gorgeous Mickey wreath from Lock and Lou. We have our Castle by Day, a beautiful speckled variegated sock set from Ruby and Roses, and our self-striping sock set with three minis from Mountain Mist Yarn Co. So if any of these were like, gotta have it, make sure you set your alarm for uh, this coming Friday so that you can go over to their shop first and grab what you want. I would definitely suggest having an alarm set and strategizing which product you want the most to grab that first. Um, so I am beyond excited for this make along. It seems like it's a long way off, but it's going to be here before we know it. I don't know about you, but I feel like September flew by and then I blinked and it was already the end of October. I'm like, wait a second, I barely celebrated Halloween even though I've celebrated a lot of Halloween, <laughs> but it's time to gear up for Christmas. So get ready for it. It's going to be an amazing um, holiday season. I think I'm going to make it so in my, my knitting world. And part of that is going to be Sockmas 2021. So uh, get ready for Friday. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll have all of the details, including shop links, all of the rules about the make along. I'll have a Ravelry chatter thread ready and open all down in the description box below. And for now, just get start gearing up for about a month from now when we are going to be casting on. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.